Hello and welcome back. As I said in my last video, I want to build a bench to hold my grinder, my metal bandsaw, my grinder sharpener combo, and my metal vise. And I want this to be heavy so that the grinders don't shake it around. I want it to be cheap and I'd like it to not take a whole lot of time. So I'd rather not build it like my bench, although it was cheap, that, that bench took a long time with the laminated top and the mortise and tenon, similar for the miter mortise drum sander, a bench that took a long time um, so I came up with a design that I think will be a lot faster involving 4x4 so I sent my shop assistant out to uh, to go find some really straight ones and he did a good job I picked the straightest three for the top and then I cut to rough length trying to get rid of the twistiest most bent portions before planing about an eighth of an inch off each side so those are the legs and also six pieces for two shells and I plane them down to get rid of the rounded edges and to make sure I have a consistent dimension on all of them and this makes for quite a lot of saw chips I wanted the legs to be, or the, the new bench to be the same height as my workbench. So that's how I set the length of the legs. I had just enough room on the end of my drum sander for a stop for the top. Now this is an all lap joint construction, so I set up my miter saw to cut halfway through one of the pieces. I use a scrap to, to dial this in and get it exactly right. So with the lap joint cut out like that, I can remove the material with the chisel. So in order to make this stronger and, and make sure I'm confident in, in this build, I'm going to reinforce these lap joints with screws, and I drill the holes for the screws in a diamond pattern for a reason that will make sense in a second. And then I glue and screw and clamp it all together. This is the top that I'm making right now. and the shelves come together in much the same way. The legs join the two shelves and the top together, so I need to cut out three of, well, of the lap joint recesses. These are also going to be reinforced with screws 
but they're going to come in from the outside. And so I'll, I'll, I'm willing to put a minimal effort in for the aesthetic of a, of a shop project just because it makes, makes me happy when I see it. So I, I find a quick way to lay out the screws evenly on the outside. And then I drill them out. These will receive dowels later. And then it all comes together. So now dowel's going on the plugs. And I flush cut them off. And spend just a little bit of time with the plane to smooth everything out. Not getting too obsessive because this is a bench after all. So with it all assembled, I can start to lay out the tools on the top. And mark out the areas where our fasteners will hold them down. I decided to go with the old-fashioned bracing bit to bore out uh, holes for the threaded rod that'll, that'll hold these down. That went fine until I forgot that there's a screw in there. Oh, whoops. Now this is the hole for that, the cord that actually comes up through the grinder. I set it up to go right through the vent. There's really nowhere else I can put it, so I just had to, had to go right through that screw with a metal cutting bit. It wasn't a lot of fun, but it worked. And then I take the sharp corner off all the edges. coat with um, boiled linseed oil. Now I can put the mesh in place. and set the tools up. Now this saw doesn't have an on off switch except for the trigger which I have bungee corded down so I need something to turn it on and off uh, without plugging it and unplugging it. So I bought this switch that I set up behind the machine and then I screw it down using my little crank screwdriver for hard to reach places and mark out the threaded rod 
to hold down the other tools so I get to get to use the bandsaw right away. So the tool rests on this grinder were never very good. I had taken them off quite a while ago. But I bought a standalone Veritas steady tool rest that, uh, that I'm going to install on this bench that hopefully will be a lot better. The other tools are bolted down in similar fashion. I found myself missing power outlets behind this bench. So I decided to make that a bit more accessible by putting a strip in front of, of this new bench I'll be able to reach very easily. So there it is, finished. These are out from under my old bench, set up, plugged in, ready to go. This is going to make for much better metal working. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.